YouTube. Camper Van Kevin here. Today is Saturday, January, I believe it's the 16th. Could be the 17th. But um, if you watched my last video, you saw where I got my new to me 1998 Honda Elite 50 scooter. And, uh, in that video, one of the reasons I got it was because uh, I needed some transportation whenever I was parked at the campsite or boondocking or wherever I was at, um, I wouldn't have to break camp to go get a loaf of bread or a gallon of uh, drinking water or, or, or whatever. And so the little 50cc scooter is working out real well. So today I'm working on mounting it inside uh, my enclosed trailer. Uh, I'm doing laundry today, so I'm down to my, my last work shirt. So. He's just going to have to be good enough for the video. But I wanted to show you, uh, washing bed clothes and bed sheets and everything, just how much room I've got down here in the basement. Now, if you notice, I've got this seal here that goes all the way around. Uh, there's supposed to be shocks here, but there's not, so I'm propping it up. Uh, that keeps all the fumes and everything from coming from the basement garage area out. Well, look how much... I just do have enough clearance there in front of the headlight. There she sits down in there. The mirrors and everything clear. It's already got the straps, tie down hooks in there. I'll show you from the bottom now. Also, um, I've been carrying uh, this plastic uh, dog kennel for Tucker and the babies whenever I'm parked. Excuse my mess over here. Whenever I'm parked uh, on some campsites and stuff, it's just another option of a place for me to keep them. But uh, I've got enough room to store it right here and I'll show you. These batteries here are my backup. There are two cell phone tower batteries that I keep charged. I have a solar suitcase that I charge them with. Uh, and then I run a 12 volt line up to an inverter to run my CPAP in case uh, for whatever reason I have an electrical issue. I must sleep with a CPAP. I have no option. So it's just another backup system I have. So I've got these batteries. I've got the coach batteries. And if I have to, I'll run the ignition battery to, uh, for my CPAP. So these always ride with me. Um, I've run these for six nights, uh, CPAP eight hours, and still had charge left where they didn't go below 12.2 um, on the voltage. See, this still fits. <laughs> still have room for my chairs, uh, my water hose, another electrical cord that's uh, not the heavy duty kind, but just to uh, never know if I'm gonna need it. There she sits. I had this old uh, motorcycle stand um, that I used for my other bikes and the mechanism got weak and uh, my bike actually I come out one morning it had fallen over so I never used it again and I was going to throw it away so I had it sitting out in my metal pile good thing I didn't uh, I had an, uh, the chalk it fits well here on this tire here are my tie downs to secure it got the um, scooter on the center stand so I've got several connections and I've got it tied off in the back as well it's not going to go anywhere no, sir. Still have plenty of room storage for firewood, whatever else I need. Mr. Rick found this for me out uh, in Greenville, Texas. I wasn't aware of uh, just what quality the Bigfoot RV was. Mine's a 98 model with 80,000 miles. Um, I didn't, I thought I knew RVs, but I didn't know anything about the Bigfoot in this basement idea. It's fantastic. They don't make the Bigfoot um, Class C's anymore. Uh, they make uh, truck campers and they just have started back making uh, travel trailers. But look at this room, guys. Uh, the, the bike is so light that uh, I didn't run any uh, board or anything up. I just picked it up and set it in there, no issue. Look at the room left. Uh, another great part about the Bigfoot that I found out was uh, that the insulation value in the ceiling and walls is actually an R12. 
Then below the basement is another layer of R8. So I've got R8 in the very bottom, R12 in the walls and the ceiling. So very well insulated coach. Uh, my coach isn't perfect, but for the money I saved, uh, gosh, what I gave for it is probably what the original owner gave, uh, paid in taxes for it. And um, what what little things are wrong with it, I'm, I'm fixing it as I go. I'm very proud of it. It's very, uh, uh, so far I've been very dependable and been very pleased with it. But that's how a Honda scooter fits inside of a basement of a Class C. My bed lifts up, I can stand up in there, tie it down. And I've got transportation now when I'm at a campground or parked. Okay, guys, you have a great day. Thanks for watching my video. Uh, if you're not a member of uh, Camper Van Kevin on uh, Facebook, you need to join over there too. I try to post something every day, a picture or just kind of what's going on with me and the girls uh, and Tucker. So I uh, hope you join that too. And feel uh, free to subscribe to our channel right here as well. So, love to have you a part of the Camper Van Kevin family. You guys take care. Bye bye. <laughs>